There is a green hill far away Outside a city wall Where our dear Lord was crucified Who died to save us all I come on my knees down before you bringing all that I am longing only to know you personally I feel that I have a fairly busy lifestyle I'm a father of four kids ranging between the ages of 12 and 17 so there's a lot of school activity and sporting activity that involved being a father of four kids. In addition to that, I run a, a transport business, a transport business that runs 24-7. run about 40 staff in that business, so that keeps me on my toes. I have uh, a few admin commitments here at church as well, obligations that I've taken on. And in the past couple of years, I've also attempted building a house. Relatively speaking, I think um, I'm a reasonably busy lifestyle. Yes, I sing to you in my praises make your On average, I'd like to spend uh, 15 to 20 minutes each morning, um, personal devotion, generally reading. Prayer uh, is consistent uh, as it can be throughout the day, depending on the scenario. Um, but yeah, I would think 25 minutes to half an hour a day is probably what I'd like to commit to, whether I get to that um, depends on the day's routine. I think one of the the greatest um, resources that I've been able to find of late, which has really helped me, is actually on my phone. It's a, a Bible reading app, which basically prompts me every day to read three to four chapters. You have various plans that you can choose on this application. What I'm doing at the moment is reading the whole Bible in 12 months. And each morning at roughly seven o'clock, um, my phone beeps and reminds me that I have four chapters to read for that day. Okay, so this is uh, the Bible app that I'm talking about. Push the button, comes up with uh, the front screen. I'm currently um, picked a plan which is called the Bible in a Year. Click on that, and it should bring up today's date. Sorry, tomorrow's date because I've read this morning, um, 18th of the 7th, and that's the four chapters that uh, it prompts me to read tomorrow. I think that um, that prompting is what creates a discipline for me and has given me the um, the motivation, I suppose, to. I work part time. I also go to a Bible study and I do church on Sunday as well. I'm also a stay at home mum with two young children under four and uh, basically looking after the home and making sure that we're all fed and we've got clean clothes and the house is a reasonable uh, state. That pretty much keeps me busy most of the week. Day to day, it's very difficult um, to have a regular time, but what I do try and do is set aside 10 minutes a day, um, whether it's when I'm sitting down having a bit of lunch, or if I'm not too exhausted at night, I'll try and sit down um, after a bit of TV and have 10 minutes of reading the Bible. And the thing I found really helpful is uh, using the bulletin and just following the scriptures on that. Um, they're sort of small Bible bites that are quite doable in 10 minutes. And what I'll also often do is then sit down and just write point form um, out of that passage what actually applies to me and things that I might wrestle with and things that I might then want to pray to God about as well. The other things that I try and do is when I go to work, I'll listen to the Bible on CD. Um, so I spend an hour and a half traveling to and from work so I can listen to the Bible pretty much the whole time. When I do Bible study, um, if we're following a particular book, if there's 10 questions from that study, I'll do two questions a day. So by the end of the, the week, I've done pretty much the whole Bible study. And I find that that keeps me really fresh in the passage. And so that when Graham gives the talk on Sunday, I find that I'm, um, I've been focused on that and so I'm ready to hear what he has to say. Oh, you are.